Hello everyone and welcome back to Starkey Farmstead. So today I want to talk a little bit about regenerative agriculture. What is it and how can it help Maui? Well, one thing is regenerative agriculture is all about regenerating the soil. By using the principles of regenerative agriculture, which is minimal disturbance of the topsoil, keeping it covered year round, a reduction in pesticides, fungicides, and commercialized fertilizers, integrating in cover crops and rotating livestock throughout that property or that land you're trying to regenerate can really help bring back the health of the soil. So even when you've got toxic soil, procedures and principles and basically using things like biochar, coffee grounds and biochar combined, using techniques like cover crops, coming in and allowing um, the native plant species to take back over an area for an extended period of time will increase microbiology activity under the soil and therefore the earth will filter the toxins out itself. That is one thing about earthworms most people don't understand is when you till, you kill. And what you're killing are the very things that you currently need to cleanse your soil. So what we're gonna see in this clip I'm adding in is a lady from Maui, from the Lahaina area, talking about how they're getting into regenerative agriculture to heal the earth. Because there's a lot of toxins there and a lot of people were concerned that they would be unable to move back to Lahaina or use that area for agricultural purposes because it would now be considered toxic. If anybody has this woman's contact information, please email it to me because when I go back to Maui, I'd very much like to meet up with the people that she is talking about in this clip. Because guys, this is how we cleanse the soil. Don't get discouraged for every mistake that man makes, and I'm calling it a mistake here, okay? Or intentional poisoning that man makes. God has something in place that will negate that and will cure that and will heal that. So I would really like to meet these people and work with them because here at Storky Farmstead, that's what we are. We're in a regenerative agricultural farmstead. The Ina matters. This week, I've met all sorts of experts who are working in their own way towards that exact cause. If we bring them together, we can expedite the regeneration of our Ina. <laughs> Every regenerative agriculture farmer I've met recognizes the need to heal the soil. I met, expert, I met soil experts whose passion is using microbiology to accelerate Mother Nature's natural processes by a hundred times or more. That could be talking about breaking down debris in the zone. Um, they're using science and technology to perform soil restoration. Bruhut Maui wants to make this program free and accessible so that it's easy for all of us to participate. They've already, they're already working with some hotels to help eliminate their use of pesticides. I ran outside, I ran into them outside of here when I got here today. Weston is one of their companies that they're working with. Um, George Purdy, a pioneer in LIDAR technology and creator of the Lanai Dry Land Forestation Project, is ready to partner with these farmers and soil experts to significantly speed our recovery by working with technology. Drones with LIDAR technology allow for the detailed mapping of Maui's topography changes over time while letting one person cover much more ground and faster. This is what was expressed to us that is a huge win and a prayer being answered by the farmers. Um, George has partnered with schools all around Hawaii to teach about LIDAR drones and set up a pilot training program through UH, and his long-term plan is to create a mesh network of drone pilots in Hawaii. These are great jobs for our community. The thing about George's LIDAR mapping that has the regenerative farmer so excited is the fact that he is also a Hawaiian farmer. He understands planting according to the Hawaiian moon calendar and designing contour swells based around changing rain patterns. He grew up on Maui and has watched the effects of desertification get worse with time throughout the county. I think we all understand that we're at a pivotal moment. It is time to stand up and take a hard turn off our current path. We have this chance to truly heal our town. We must grow deeper roots and restore our soil, and those deep roots will help rebuild our water table. We can't grow that ulu if we don't have water. We must still work to fight for water rights, but we must do this in tandem with rebuilding and refilling our water table.
It is important that we do this as a community, united. Right now, Maui County just needs to open the door to technology. Under the emergency proclamation, Maui County can say that we need LIDAR to map the topography of Maui as a part of the recovery for land restoration, and it's funded. It's incredibly important that we jump on this opportunity to catch up with the times. We must also remember to stay united as a community and lead with aloha. And then we can talk about the walkable front street that we all want. Thank you.